But I, but I want you to remember this. Only leaders who are tested become great. Only leaders who are tested become great. That word tested by definition means to reveal the strengths or capabilities of someone by putting them under strain. The key words from this definition are putting someone under strain. And when it comes to leadership, or really for anything for that matter, that's worthwhile in life, the only thing guaranteed is the struggle. You won't be your best without surviving the test. Imagine for a second, everything you expected as a kid was taken away from you. I'm talking about the basics, like a home, food, parents, even just clothes. This was the situation for a young girl named Liz Murray. She was born in two and spent the majority of her life living in circumstances that you wouldn't dream of or you certainly wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy. Beyond the basics being bad, both of her parents were drug addicts who both contracted AIDS. She didn't even meet her father until she was three years old because he was in prison. Eventually, at age six, she was molested by a family friend that her mom had invited into the house. In her teens, her mom became a schizophrenic and eventually died when she was just 15 years old, leaving Liz homeless. And while education had been sporadic her whole life, she was a gifted student. She had an incredible IQ. She eventually found herself enrolled at a high school in Manhattan, where There were two teachers that saw something in Liz that she didn't see in herself. Through the teacher's guidance and help, she ended up finishing her four-year high school degree in just two years, all while being a homeless teenager eating at shelters. It was during a school trip to Boston when her class toured Harvard that it got her teachers thinking that maybe she's got something special here. So when it came time for Liz to apply to schools, she applied to Harvard based on the suggestion of one of these teachers. And shockingly, she was accepted. Now, being that she had no money, she decided to get creative and she entered into an essay writing contest held by the New York Times. And she wrote this incredible story about her overcoming odds and her life. And eventually she was awarded a full scholarship to Harvard. As amazing as this story is, she eventually graduated from Harvard. And her story was made into a lifetime movie called Homeless to Harvard. And she then went on to write a best-selling memoir called Breaking Night. Now, I tell you this story because Liz Murray shows us all what overcoming the odds and being tested beyond measures is all about. And while her story is certainly amazing, you have faced different odds and you've been tested in different ways in your life than Liz. I don't care who you are where you're from, who your parents are, you've been tested. And if you haven't, if not already, I promise it's coming. But I, but I want you to remember this. Only leaders who are tested become great. Only leaders who are tested become great. That word tested by definition means to reveal the strengths or capabilities of someone by putting them under strain. The key words from this definition are putting someone under strain. And when it comes to leadership, or really for anything for that matter, that's worthwhile in life, the only thing guaranteed is the struggle. 
The only thing guaranteed is the struggle and the strain and the challenges that will come at various times. This is true in your career. This is true in a marriage. This is true in parenting. This is true if you're just a salesperson or or you're a professional athlete. This is true regardless of who you are. The only thing guaranteed is the struggle. Which means there will be a roller coaster of emotions, both high and low. The highs will feel like you're never coming down, and the lows will be a test. So I want you to think about, remember that word test. I want you to write what I'm about to tell you down. I mean, I want you to imprint it into your mind. You won't be your best without surviving the test because you're going to get tested. And when you're tested, you're going to have two options. The first option is what I call choose an R. You're either going to retreat, you're going to run, or you're going to remove. Certainly, some people retreat and they think of a new plan or a strategy to implement. Others choose the second R. They like to run the other way, looking for an easier path in the same role. Or, or they, look for, they choose the third R, which is to remove themselves altogether from the situation. And they just start to believe that they aren't cut out for this thing that they're doing right now. They choose an R. The second option is to persevere when you're tested, which literally means to continue in a course of action even in the face of difficulty. It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And I believe this with all of my soul. Another quote comes to mind that makes me think it's not exactly right. My dad used to tell me all the time a quote from Albert Einstein. He said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. In order to persevere, when you get tested, you have to be both tough and willing to pivot, to not be insane. Well, well, I want you to really think about that. Think about doing better ways of doing things if you're stuck and you want to persevere. Because when we choose the second option to persevere, we will eventually survive the test. It will give us a chance to be at our best. And when I say our best, I mean being able to perform under pressure, to make a, the best choice available, available in a small window of time, to have tough conversations with people in your life when they need to be had. This is what performing at your best is all about. And in today's world, we love this little word called comparison. We love to benchmark ourselves against others. C.S. Lewis famously said, comparison is the thief of joy. I want you focused on being the best version of yourself, not anybody else. I want you to focus on getting a little bit better today than you were yesterday with the ultimate goal of being the best version of yourself in all of the key areas of your life, not worried about comparing yourself to anybody else. Now, I want you to think back to the story of Liz Murray. If if she can become her best, surviving the ultimate test, I know you can too.